Hello, what's up? This is Ninja Fifty Five, and um, tonight I want to get on this how um, more men are going overseas to get women. You know, uh, you know, you know, and the reason why is because it's it's, it's you woman in America, North America's fault. You know, that's why these more men are um going overseas to get women. You know, I mean. Well, actually, you know who's this, whose fault is that? You woman's fault. Now, it's 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 really black men in particular, you know, because you woman. Um, let me see. Where to start at? I mean, I mean, let, let me say this first: the white guys, the Asian guys, the um, what are those other guys? I forget what you call them. They don't have no problem getting a woman. They easily be getting a woman, you know. But here, but black men, the black men, he's got to have all this. Because, let me say this, the Hispanic, the, um, what you call that, Hispanic? Yeah, white, Asian, Hispanic, Indian, you know. It's, they don't have no problems getting a woman over here. I mean, you do have to provide, you know. You do need money, you know, take care of a woman and everything. But it's like... Are they virgins? You know that you you gonna take care of uh someone that had that had pre owned vagina that that, that that body is pre owned. They're not a virgin. You know this is what you gotta start to question. I mean, yeah, a man is supposed to. And then with these women is what I've come to find out is these women will. I mean, they very devious. Like they will. Um, like one time. Uh, well, I was on Twitter. Well, a lot of women do this. They be like, um, uh, they had like a plumber or something come over or something. They would tweet. They say they had they would suck the plumber off, give his oral to a plumber because the plumber would come and fix their, um, come and fix something, you know, in the bathroom or something or in their kitchen, you know, and they'll replay them about re. re-, re- repay that plumber by sucking them off. I'm like, that's disgusting. And, and, and so they be, they could, they, they, uh, I think they already be having them in or something. Or I guess they be single. Even if they're single, you know, what they already got to do. What that man is working, they be doing that. So, that's disgusting right there because first of all, how are you going to do that? You know, how are, I mean, you don't know that's how they be catching stuff. You can catch stuff like that. You don't know what, what that plumber got, you know. And then that's why I say, you know, with these women is these, these females over here wear protection. You you black men wear protection when deal with these females out here, you know, because a lot of them don't. You know, it's, you, you can't trust these females. It's they man. If you're gonna mess with woman over here, you know, woman over here, you know, shit, I have no damn chance anyway, you know, because the way I, how the way I look, oh, damn, definitely, I'm just definitely, you know, but maybe if I can go overseas or something, because these women want you to, like, if you really want want them, they want you to kiss their ass. I'm keeping it real, too, or something. I mean, a man is supposed to be having money and everything to provide, you know, because... Uh, a woman don't want a bum, you know. Oh, well, they, some women do a Pookie Ray Ray, you know, bum and everything. Chads, shoot, it's not only Pookie Ray Ray. It's, I've seen Chads or whatever you call them, or like I was watching, uh, like what was it? Was this? years ago? I was watching Doctor Oz. I don't really watch TV, I read books, but I was watching Doctor Oz where these these women, you know was taking in these homeless uh, white dudes. These white guys was homeless on the streets, and they was taking them in. I'm like, wow. You see, he, he wasn't even working on any, anything, you know. But he, he, him being, you know, and she took him in, you know, like took him in, let him stay at his apartment and stuff. I'm like, damn. So what, is, what does that tell you, man? But See, these American women, I mean... Oh my goodness! You gotta be careful down south in Central America too, because you got these women are them women in South and Central America are changing up too. They like the woman in England, you know, the woman in the UK, like England somewhere, you know, because England's part of the Western Hemisphere, you know, part of the, you know. 
but that's where um yeah the woman in south and central america believe it or not they're, they're changing up because i've seen interviews where this guy older guy say you know this woman you know a couple of guys said this woman tried to take his money or something and, you know it's it's really they'll overcharge from these places like places like medellin medellin colombia um well, Colombia, Ecuador, all the places in South America, you know, you got to be careful. I mean, you go overseas, it was one, some, you know, they're changing up, believe it or not, you know. So you got to be careful, though. I mean, uh, in the future, when I, if I get some money up, I would love to go to those places. But I'm going to have to be very careful because those females, they can set you up. They kind of like changing up, too. You know, they hot, but they look good, but don't let that fool you, you know. They ain't going to be like the American woman where the American woman give you attitudes, but they, you know, from what I've heard, they kind of like changing up. They're they changing up, not kind of. So you got to be careful with dealing with those women down there, too. I mean, of course. I mean, those women down there, what happened is they've been... Mm, tricking men, setting men up. You know, there's this guy named Timothy Reed who was killed down in Colombia two years ago. Botch robbery. He messed with a woman down in Colombia. You know, he, he didn't he didn't have it written in his paper. You know that he bought this house down there, and he was an entrepreneur. You know, from from North America. You know, and then. He, he was, I guess they say he was flexing too, wearing gold chains. He died in a box robbery, so be careful down there too. But yeah, these women up here in North America, remember the black, white, Hispanic, Asian, hey man, sheesh. They want the worst. And then, and then they like, um, you know what they'll say too? They'll say, um, we say, uh, well, not say. What they do is they go both ways to bisexual for some reason, which I don't know why. But well, it's the Jezebel. The woman was always like the weaker vessel and everything. You know, it makes sense. But they they be going, they be going both ways. So you gotta be careful. And there's a reason behind that, though. It's not a reason because they, you know, they, they say they born like that. No. A lot of them, or some of them, been molested or something. Molested, abused by their men. Abused by their men. That, abused, by their, abused by their boyfriend, you know. Or, or um, husband, you know. So then that's when they start like, girls, you know, bye, you know, and this... Cause there's no way that they they're by or just like that. They you know they've probably been like molested or something by when they was little by men, you know, to make them gay or even by you know something. You know they'll say, oh, I start liking a woman. I'm like, okay, fine. Then, huh, but you can't even, jeez, you you can't even get the get the a strap on. Like, okay, getting the strap on, I might as well get the real thing. And then get the strap on, you know. See what I'm saying? And then believe it or not, I heard what the um, what the uh, what the, what the lesbians is that they're more, you know, lesbians. They're they're like violent, you know. Or gay couples are more violent, or violent are very violent. You know, it's the same same sex couples are very violent towards each other. The percentage, and if you don't believe me, look it up. And so it's like, damn. Yeah, that, that's how I, that's how I be going, you know. They, you know, so yeah, it's, it's 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 messed up out here in North America, you know. These women are at your money, want your money. I mean, believe me, a man is supposed to provide. You know, don't get me wrong, but when these women want to be about money and everything, I mean, you have to have so much stuff, like a car. You know, well, you gotta be tall. You gotta have a car. Uh, it's, I mean, of course you gotta have a car, that makes sense, because you do got creeps, you know, a, a, a woman that wanna go to, to on a train or something, just imagine that, a woman that wanna go on a train and everything, and 
then she get approached or stalked by some creeps on a train. That's that's understandable, you know. It's, it's harassed, you know. Is is attacked by a creep or weirdo, you know. So it's, it's it's understandable, you know. A lot of they want a guy with a car. You know, I, I need to try to get a car. I don't even have a damn car, man. Well, that's understandable, you know. I remember somebody was telling me years ago that a woman can still use you. A girl can still use you, even if you have a car. But, yeah. Still, still go to, um, but I, I would still, um, here's what I say to you guys out here. You just, um, if, you, if, you, if you're going to mess with these women in North America, you know, uh, let me see. Man, these women in North America can really set you up, though. You know, like, it was this other instance where this guy, this dude, where was it at? Was it in, I think it was, was it in Jersey or was it in Philly? One of those places, and what happened was he got set up by some three women or something, some woman, three women came towards him, and, um, oh, what happened was, he went to this place, in the club, a nightclub, and these three women or something, you know, his brother, and he brought, some. he met some three black chicks at this place, and then he brought them home, uh, when he brought him to his apartment, it was on camera. He, when he brought him to his apartment, he, uh, she, they had set him up or something. He was counting his money in front of them, and one of those black chicks was counting, counting, I mean, well, well, was texting the shooters, you know, like, yo, he got money. So then this dude who brought these three chicks to his apartment, he went out to go get something to eat for him and the, the girls, and he came back. Well, I think from Domino's or some restaurant, he started eating. So then he heard someone on the doorbell. And then it was the um, one, was the one the black one went went, to, went over to the door. On the door it was the shooters. She let him in, and you know, the shooters came and and shot the dude, shot the bull, and everything. He was on the ground, held him at gunpoint, and shot him, killed him, took his money, and them the three black chicks ran. With those shooters, I'm like, whoa, man! You gotta watch out for these women out here. That's why I would never go with a woman that's got like, that is, uh, what is that? That's with, uh, well, three, three chicks. I would never invite three women, three chicks to my place. Three or two, one would be good enough. Not no three or two. I would invite one chick to my place, not no three. Three, not no three or two, because they could they could set you up, you know. They could really set you up. He lost his life. Like these women gotta be, you know. He had a car. He drove. I mean, these women gotta be honest. Like if you don't want me, you don't want me. You know, just be honest and everything. Don't lie. Uh, beat around the bush and you know say, oh no, that you pretend to like me, you know. So yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, Ninja Fifty Five signing out. Please like, get those likes up. Please like and comment on my video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye-bye.